Hi everyone and welcome to my scrappy space. So today I thought I would just do a little chit chat with y'all and then I thought I would go ahead and tear down some paper pads. Now while I'm chit chatting I'd love for you guys to grab something and just sit back and chat along with me. But if you don't want to that's okay too. <laughs> okay so one of the things that I want to do is I want to say Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my new subscribers and to my old ones that have just been along this journey with me. I am so grateful for each and every one of you, and I want to say thank you, thank you. The other thing is, is I've got some new things that I'm working with, and just when I think I'm going to have a little bit more time, I realize, yeah, I'm not so much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fill in when I can and work on the projects when I can. And one of the things that I do like to do is I like to pop on a video and just kind of listen every once in a while, look up and see what they're doing. And I thought, you know, I might as well as create something that I like to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and break down these paper pads and then I'm gonna chit chat with you guys and share a little bit about myself. Sorry, I have to move a box here. And yes, I am gonna be doing a scrap room tour. So let's go ahead and get started on these paper pads. And let me kind of share with you what I've been working on is I have been trying to get my paper pads broken down because I want to get them into my main papers that I use, like my rainbow colors and just know in my mind the collections and stuff that I have. And when I have just a few minutes, I just go through a paper pad and it's relaxing to me, it's therapeutic, and I just love paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and break these three down and how I'm going to put them into my rainbow section, leave them into a collection, or if I'm gonna bless somebody else with them. Now, part of that, there has been kind of a discussion about purging and not purging. So I'm going to go ahead and get started first, guys. And I think this is kind of an interesting topic. Now, I know a lot of people do purge the things that they're just not going to use or just kind of want to get rid of. And I love a lot of my old product and I keep a lot of my old product. And I just think that, yes, making room for the new stuff is exciting, but I really like my old stuff and some of my favorite layouts are with old product. And so you don't you don't have to purge. The only thing that I'm gonna purge is things that I know that I don't like. And so you have to keep that in the back of your mind, I think, too. Sometimes your taste does change or somebody may come into your life that that particular thing is more of them. I know uh, my bestie and I, she is kind of the opposite on the spectrum. She likes very elegant, pretty things, and I'm more boho. And so it works out really well because she has granddaughters that are more my style, and I have some granddaughters and some people in my life that are more her style. So it balances out, and sometimes I can share product with her, and she can share product with me. It's just something that I just don't necessarily gravitate to. So, anyways, um, let's see. What are some of the things about me? I live in the north, and I live in the country, and I have always lived here all of my whole entire life. My husband has lived here all of his entire life. We actually go way back in this area. We are, come from a logging town and um, it's very much a part of our lives. So that is really, really pretty. I love my country life, even though it does come with some exciting different aspects. Right now we have uh, a mountain lion that has decided that he's not afraid of anybody or anything. And uh, that can be kind of sketchy considering we have animals and small children. <laughs> and uh, yeah, oops. Oh, I really wanted to, that is really sticky on there, guys. Okay, I guess we're gonna just rip it off because it does not want to play nice. And I think it has, oh my stars. 
Well, that did not come out the way I was hoping it would. And because uh, of this glitter paper here, which is, I don't know if I'm going to purge that or not. I am really not a glitter person. But you just, oh my stars. They glued that in really, really well. <laughs> But that green, it's sure pretty with the right thing, right? So, I don't know. But it's kind of coming off a little bit, too. So, I guess I'm going to be all sparkly for work tomorrow. And with the project pad, they always come with uh, cardstock. Okay, the glue on this one is really well. Okay. This is going to kind of frustrate me here. Sometimes, another thing you may want to know about me is I'm easily frustrated. Um, no, I'm not, really. <laughs> but, oh, my Lanta. That is pretty amazing. I wonder if it was the extra glue from the glitter paper, or if, I don't know. It's just a good day for lots of glue. I don't know. Let's see if we can get this now. Oh, so much better. So much better. But it totally made a mess. Totally made a mess. And I don't remember where I was now. See, I have two boys. And they are both married and have children. And my, um, I have a bonus family. Which is amazing. And I have been married to my husband. I've been with my husband since I was 16 years old. And he's my bestest friend in the whole wide world. On 99.9% .9 of the days. Every once in a while. You know, he's my husband. <laughs> but I love him. So anyways, I, uh, I love the scrapbook. I love the memories. I love photos. Love photos. And uh, so that's my scrapbook. Am I way behind? Absolutely. But I don't I don't care anymore. I used to care, but now I just scrapbook for the fun of it. I love it to be creative. And I love that green with that. Isn't that so pretty? Such a gorgeous color. Oh, I bet you I'm going to get tons of glare off of that. Okay, so then I just kind of look at the papers. Now this is adorable. It's super whimsical and fun. And I will use that. And to be perfectly honest with this piece of paper, this little dog down here with the butterflies is most of the reason that I bought this paper pad. I love that. I got this from Tuesday mornings. And I thought there was a price on it, but there's not. It doesn't really matter. But that's okay. But I love this cut apart. This green is a lot of fun. These colors go so well. And this is a Chamel pad. And of course, she's amazingly talented. Now this has glitter, not glitter, excuse me. This has foil and I'm not a big fan, but I think I could use it as a an accent. And that's what I usually do too, is I'll just put something that, I will add something that doesn't have a lot of pattern and see if I can use it for like a frame or something like that, which is totally usable. So I will put that there. And let me see. Oh, that is super cute. Now this, I I don't know how to use it. I don't think I will ever use this. Um, to cut it out, I don't think I would ever use that. So I think I'm just going to pass that along to uh, my granddaughter. The pink clouds, super adorable. I can totally use that for so many different things. Now this piece of paper is, this is the one that did not want to come out of the paper pad. It's pretty dark and I have a harder time using darker paper. So I think I'm going to, because I'm waffling on it, I will keep it. Now the glitter paper. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of glitter, but I, for some reason I really like the green. I think I could use that with Christmas, but I'm not. I'm going to pass it along. Now this purple, I think I may keep the purple. Because it is cardstock. 
but I'm not 100% sure, but it is a very nice purple. That's purple, it's not plum, right? So, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep the purple to go with that. The yellow, I'm not a big fan of, so I'm going to put that in my blessing box. The orange is a little bright for me, so I'm gonna put that in my blessing box. I do like this pink with it, so I'm gonna keep that one in there. And I like this pink as well. It goes really nicely with those other pink colors. So, see, that goes in nice. And then, what else do we got? We got some teal here, that's super pretty. Oh yes, that's pretty and you can always use a nice dark green. So now once I play with these, I will put these all together. And once I play with these, I will either put them in the blessing box when I am done, if there's anything left over, or I will put them into my rainbow section. So these will be going into a little plastic container over here. And then that will go on my shelf to be played with soon, hopefully. So back to sharing about myself a little bit more. I have a dog, his name is Roy, and I have an old cat that um, will live forever. She's 20, you would never know it. And I have a new addition coming to our family tomorrow. I'm a little nervous about it, but I'm excited about it. So you guys are going to have to come back and see what my new addition is. And then um, I have some chickens. Used to have seven. Now I have five. And uh, I think we found out what the problem was there. That's okay. We can share a little bit, right? And then um, I have no eggs. My chickens should be laying eggs, and they are not. And I don't know if they're boycotting. I don't know what their deal is. But that's okay. They're really funny. They make me laugh. And uh, they're just absolutely hysterical. Do you guys have chickens? If you do, I really would like to know. And what kind do you have? Um, I have... I have a black one that is, what do they call those? I can't think of the name. I will come up with the name. And then the other one are Easter Eggers. And uh, they lay the colored eggs, supposedly. I don't know. I guess I'll tell you more about it. Okay, this is really interesting. Look how flimsy this glitter paper is compared to that other. And this isn't coming off, the glitter. I like those. So anyways, um, they lay the different colored eggs, and I'm hoping that soon I will be getting eggs. We got them in the middle of April, so I don't think it's quite time, but it's getting close. It's getting close. And I call them the ladies, and they, they seriously make you laugh. They're very entertaining, and they each have personalities. The little tiny one named Gracie, I named her Gracie. She is definitely the head hen, if you know what I'm saying. And uh, she is mad. She takes it out on the other guys, or girls. And she can be not very nice. Wow, that is thick cardstock. Wow, that's really incredible. All right, now I have to check this out again. Is this Chamel again? Yeah, a box of crayons. That cardstock is super, super thick. I'm impressed. I mean, wow. And I keep thinking there's more than one piece and there's not. Super incredible. I like the old days where stuff was pretty substantial. And I'm noticing there's a lot of the same color palette as in that other one. So, anyhow, 
So that's a little bit about me. And if you want to share a little bit about yourself, I'd love to know about you. I, um, I'm curious to know how many of you still have paper pads? If you like them in the paper pad form, are you utilizing your paper pads? Or are they on a shelf? I noticed that when I do take mine out of the paper pad form, I have a tendency to use them more. And there's some real gem papers in these that I have overlooked for years. So I'm really grateful that I am pulling these apart. Okay, now let's see what I'm going to do here. Now this alphabet, I'm going to see. Okay, it's not super easy to get off. It's not too terribly thin, but I'm not into the glitter and... So I think I'm gonna pass this on and bless somebody with it. Just a second here, I had to restack some things. Now the stickers, I do like them, and if I want them to be a little th thicker, I don't have a problem with putting them on white cardstock and um, fussy cutting them out. Some of them I won't be able to just because I can't get in there and that will frustrate me, but I will keep that one. This one is, not my style or anything so that one will go in a blessing box now i really like this rainbow dot so i'll keep that this is just not my style it has the foiling and the this just is not my style so i'm going to go ahead and pass that on now i do like the dark blue and the green i do struggle with using a dark though but that's okay like this red and this is an off this is a cream color here's the white and there's the cream color trying to embrace the white and the cream a little bit more sometimes it can be hard and this is super cute I will keep that and I like these little florals with the oranges cute and then here's these hearts Now, I'm not a huge fan of that. Boy, I really like this yellow dot up here, though. This just really isn't speaking to me a whole lot. The scissors, I don't really care for. Here's another floral that I like. Here's a stripe. And here's a rainbow, but this has gloss glitter on it. So I am going to bless somebody with that because I know that I won't use that. Here is some random ovals. Huh. I just don't know that I would use that. I just had a cute little idea though. If you punch those out and add a string, you can make something really cute with those. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass that along. Now, this green and this gold, it's really pretty, really pretty. And it's thin so that I could punch out with my dyes, letters, and that type of thing. So I'm going to put this in my specialty, and I may put it in my Christmas, but for right now, I'll put that in my specialty stuff. Oh, that is cute, cute, cute. So I like those clouds. Those will be fun. Now the rainbows. I like the rainbows, but then again, they have the foiling, and I know myself. I won't use it. So I am going to pass that along. And here's the cameras again. They have some foiling in them, and I won't use those. Oh, that's cute. I really like that pink stripe. Huh, I like that. Okay, so here's some various icons, and I will use that. I will use the different icons to fussy cut out and just to use them for little bits and pieces. And I like these little things for my project life as well. 
Now these are supposed to look like the end of colored pencils and it's really cute, but I don't think I would ever use it. So I'm gonna pass that along. And this green, I like that. That's really adorable. And okay, now I know I've gone on about the glossy and the glitter, but I really like these geckos. And this pattern paper actually reminds me of my sister. I have two sisters. I have an older one and a younger one. And she used to have lizards. And I actually have a story to share about my cat and her lizards. And yes, it does end well. It's not a, it's not one of those stories, but she was very unhappy. And let me just say, my mom was a little frightened, okay? <laughs> my mom was not happy with us girls. I'll just tell you that much, but it's a good story. So um, I really like this darker color. And I'm a little out of frame, guys. I do apologize, but my camera does not keep up with my TV. Now this one's a little bright and bold, and so I am going to, let's look and see. I mean, that goes nicely, and if I used it in just a little small, see that's what I kind of do, is I kind of just look and see. And I think in very small amounts that it would be okay, but it's pretty bright. Hmm, I think I'm gonna pass that along because I know my daughter, my granddaughter would just love it. This yellow is a little bit brighter, but I think I'm gonna keep it because I do have a lot of yellow in this. And then the darker green, I will definitely keep this tealier blue color, don't even know. Now we have this purple again. And to me, this purple is a little bit brighter and I'm not a big purple paper person say that three times fast paper purple yeah I, let's just drop that and then here is this blue guys i can't believe this paper and it's got texture it's it's really amazing um i'm gonna keep the blue because you can always use blue and i really like this rust color here okay so i'm gonna go ahead and just put those all together and now I'm becoming more and more familiar with what I have. Now I have a story to tell. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with all those papers. And then the next one that I'm gonna work on is this. Just one second, I gotta put these away. So I don't want to just stack, stack, stack. Okay, now here's one of my favorite manufacturers, and that's Park Lane. And let me see. I'm going to go ahead and pull this one apart. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is amazing. That's an amazing piece of paper. Oh, and I get two of them. That's even better. That is even better. I love it. Love it, love it. Okay, I have to do it sideways, guys. Sorry. Okay, now this is super interesting. This is a washi sheet. So instead of having tape, it's this washi sheet. And I don't know... Will I use that? I suppose I can try to use a little bit of it. I mean, it goes really well. All right, we're going to keep it in there. All right, here's some little campers. Now, the campers, I might use like a strip of them, you know, on a two-page, but I love that. That is just, I love it. Sweet. See what I mean? I just love Park Lane. And this is great. We didn't do a whole lot of camping this year, but we have a lot in the past. And I love this paper here. That is just so cute. So cute. Now, I'm sorry if I put, you know, a lot of glare, but see that foil? It cancels that out for me. But this is adorable. Absolutely adorable. And then we have a sticker sheet. 
Now this has a bunch of moon phases, hiking boots, little campers, some floral. And these are, you know, the thinner stickers. But like I said, I don't have a problem putting them on some cardstock if I want them to be more substantial. And that's just a really cute sticker sheet as far as I'm concerned. Super adorable. Okay, we have some leaves. Oh, and then we have some animal print on the, whoops, more of the yellow mustard color. That is cute. Oh, see, now just going through this paper pad, it makes me want to pull everything out and to use it. Okay, there's gonna be glare on this one, you guys, sorry. This is a piece of, right underneath here is a piece of acetate but I really wanna show it to you, so just a second, cause it's really pretty. But I wanna get a solid piece of paper. And, all right. Okay, here, we'll put it on this. But one of the things that these Park Lane paper pads does have, it has various, um, it says foil, adhesive, adhesive washi, vellum, acetate, linen, and stickers. So it has a lot of different textures in it, which is really fun. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one off. And then this is a piece of acetate and I'm gonna pull it off this way and then stick it on here. But look at this acetate, isn't that pretty? It is so cute, you guys, so cute. So hopefully there's not a whole bunch of glare. But I'm gonna put that over here to the side just so it doesn't reflect. But that is really a lot of fun. And here are some clouds with uh, a thunderstorm, which is really unique. I haven't seen a lot of them with the thunderstorm. And then of course we have trees, which you always have trees when you go camping in the woods. At least we do. Oh, this reminds me, we were camping in this one area and it's in this huge cannon and not a cannon, in a canyon, excuse me. And it literally shook our camper, everything, everything. And it was scary. It was really scary because the wind was blowing. We had big, ginormous trees. And I laid there and listened to it. And finally, my husband sent some to me. And I was so grateful that he was awake because sometimes he can sleep through anything. But he, he was awake. <laughs> And our boys and some friends were actually sleeping in a big, huge wall tent. And half of them slept through it, and the other half was listening. But they didn't feel threatened or anything, which is good. So this is adorable. It doesn't have to be used for camping. It can definitely be used for just a little kid one or, I don't know, it's just adorable. And then you have this great plaid. And you can always use plaid, right? Okay, here is a piece of fabric. Oh, how fun. Oh, you guys, that can be glare too. All right, just a second. I'll put that on there so it won't be so bad. Okay, this is a piece of fabric. And it's not super thick, but it has great, great texture. Can you see that texture in there? And it is really super pretty. Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay, now I'm gonna give you a little mini peek. Look at that foil. X's it out for me. But I think it's amazing. No, it's just okay on the backside. So I'm gonna pull both of these out at the same time. Try to anyways, so that there won't be a whole bunch of glare. Okay, I'm gonna flop this over here. But on the back side is this check, this black check. And I will definitely use that. So I will put both of those there. Okay, that is adorable. Just random little bushes and twigs. Oh, and I really like that stripe too. That goes so nicely, doesn't it? Oh, I so want to play with this paper pad now. I'm telling you guys, grab a paper pad and go through it. It's going to be so inspiring. Okay, we got another piece of acetate here. All right, how did I do on the last one? Did I stop the glare? All right, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, that's just so cute. And then I'm gonna pull this acetate out. Bring it over here, just a sec, and I'll put it on here, because it's worth it. Look it. And I don't know if we're gonna have a bunch of glare. 
but look at that all the constellations and stuff now my bonus grandson he is so obsessed with space right now it's not even funny and like he was telling me grammy he's like on the 31st there's going to be a blue moon and he was telling me all about it and he just gets so excited and i love to see his enthusiasm for that kind of thing so definitely might be telling a story about him okay he's going to put this to the side that's two sheets of acetate in that so far okay here's an adorable orange with some trees and of course you could use that I would use that but I definitely like the orange I think orange is one of my favorite colors one of them so definitely keep those up okay here's some journaling cards in a big stripe on the back but I do like the journaling cards that'll be great and there is a little bit of foil on it, like this one. I don't care for the constellations. I do a little bit in this. Eh, it's all right. And then they just have just more of the pieces that would actually have a shine to it, like the spiral notebook and that type of thing. So that'll be fun. And then the bigger, bolder stripe. Yeah, it's okay. But I will keep that for those. And then we'll probably use this for the back side okay here is a piece of vellum how pretty how pretty is that i love that and this is more of a rainbow i think yep the red and the mustard and the teal that is really pretty okay oh and the cardstock is very nice. It has a texture to it, which I love. And then there's two colors to each side. That's nice. That's really nice. Not a bad weight. I mean, it's not, you know, card bella or anything, but it's very nice. It's a little bright for me, but just with a little certain accent, it might work pretty nice. Let's grab a little floral well let me see yeah no that yellow is a little bright guys I'm trying to find something with that bright yellow in it and um well, it's not bad you know but it's a little bright it's a little bright for me so we'll see we'll see but on the other side we have this fabulous orange so that'll work perfectly. Here's that yellow, a beautiful green, and then a dark green. Love it. Love it, love it. Ha. And then, oh, that's pretty too. Beautiful blue. I could, I could pretty much use this with every piece. And then here's this color. Pretty. I just really like that piece of paper <laughs> and then here's the blue again okay guys well thanks for hanging out with me I know this was kind of a different video but I had fun kind of sharing a little bit about myself I hope you guys will share a little bit about yourself let me know if you've been breaking down your paper paths or what you've been doing in your scrap space when you have a few little minutes. I'd love to hear. I want to thank each and every one of you once again for being part of my little community here. If you don't mind giving me a thumbs up, I'd really like it. And I hope you guys are having a super amazing day and you're out there making lots of memories. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.